This is Blaine North, the Manitoba Games Show. The Manitoba Games, powered by Manitoba Hydro, are happening in Thompson March 4th to 10th. It's March 6th now, I think. Anybody know what the day is? Sixth? Day three of the games. We're out at the Alpine venue with the Thompson team. The Alpine folks that are putting on the event said, we really want you to talk to the Thompson team. Thompson hasn't had an Alpine team in a long time, so you guys are it. You're uh, the new wave of Alpine skiers in Thompson. And uh, I know you did some competition yesterday, and now there's a little bit more going on this afternoon. So give me your name and uh, just some thoughts on how yesterday went. We're gonna start all the way over at the end with uh, the guy who has a little bit less hair than me, Coach Scott. How'd, how'd it go yesterday? I think it's excellent. I think the kids have a good time. And uh, I think they're having another good day. Uh, their, their first time and they have a few weekends to train. And uh, I think they're a bunch of freestylers. <laughs> So, uh, give me your name. Well, Maddie, how'd it go yesterday? Didn't go too bad. I mean, could have been better, but only been training for about a month. So, and do you feel like you uh, learned something yesterday from watching the, these other guys, or was the whole day just a blur? Definitely learned some stuff. Yep. Yeah, they're a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> learned that we got a long way to go. Uh, Zach, how about you? Uh, Pretty fun. <laughs> it was pretty fun, and I don't know. It went pretty well, I guess. Did you ever picture yourself as a ski racer, or were you always out here just goofing around, having fun? And then one day, I was like, "Hey, you know what? Maybe I would like to go fast and be a racer." Uh, no, I never really did. It just happened, I guess. Yeah. Good. Sammy, how'd things go for you yesterday? Wasn't bad. Wasn't great. Just <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. What was? Uh, what do you, What do you think you learned? Did you learn something yesterday? Um. Uh, I definitely learned they have some quick kids. Yeah. yeah, I definitely learned it sucks to be beat by a 12 year old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and any skills for catching up to a 12 year old? Practice more maybe? Yeah, practice more and don't use powder skis. <laughs> Reed, we talked to you before the games were coming up and I know that you had been training and you were looking forward to the races. Was it everything you expected? Uh, I thought I would have done a little bit better, but yeah. yeah. And uh, I heard you did well in race number one and then fell. Is, that, is this a true story? Yes, it is. What happened on the fall? I don't know. The corner was just super icy and super rutted up. Got, got away on you a little bit? Yeah. I, uh, I can believe that. So Murphy, my son, was telling me about the races. He was tweeting me. He said, Reed's in good shape. He said, but I didn't think he had a chance because he was wearing a bush jacket and the other guys had spandex. Do you think that slowed <laughs> you down a bit? <laughs> Probably a little bit. Coach, we got to work on the costumes, I'm telling you. I guess you don't call them costumes. Outfits? Um, I think, yeah. You think so? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how'd yesterday go? It went all right. I'm not the fastest, but I'm having a good time. Super. I'm, a, I'm actually the slowest, but that's okay. <laughs> no big deal. And are you thinking about getting spandex? I'll pass. Okay. <laughs> if we race again, we've got a couple imports that came and helped us out on our uh, Norman team. We couldn't be happier than to have you guys. Give us your names and where you're from. Um, so I'm Jocelyn. I'm from East St. Paul. East St. Paul. And have you been racing a long time? I've been racing for five years. And yeah, I raced against some of the harder competitors, but I pushed myself to my limits and did as best as I could. So it was good. Oh, we can't ask for any better imports than that. I'm Marley and I'm from East St. Paul too. And I've been racing for about two years. Fantastic! And I see that you guys have all you guys have all the stuff. So we recruited the right guys. We didn't. If some other team, like if Team South, had picked up Reed in his bush jacket, they would have been like, "Hey, I don't know about this guy. This isn't so good." Uh, so you guys are staying in the village. You're eating at the the food services stuff. What other than the skiing and the fun you've been having here? Uh, tell me a little bit. What's been fun about being at the Norman game or at the Manitoba game? It's just a really like fun experience. It's like to meet new people and stuff. It's fun. Right on. Yeah, I, I have to agree with Marley. I mainly came for the experience, it's, and it's been really good. Good. I was hoping you didn't say, I came for the experience and it sucked, so I'm, I'm glad you had that. Is this the farthest uh, bus ride you've ever been on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and what did you guys do to pass the time? I just watched some movies and just kind of hung out. <laughs> yeah. So, solid. You're old pros. So you're participating in the games in your hometown. So what, again, other than the skiing, what's been uh, memorable about the games? Definitely meeting all the new people and seeing what what it, the racers are like down south because I I knew I was I was expecting good racers but these racers are amazing here. Some of them got on Team Toba for the Canada Games and that's absolutely phenomenal and good for them. And it's just amazing to be able to compete with people like these and just be side by side. 
Nice. Inspiring to have them here. Yeah. That's good. You guys, uh, quick thoughts before you beat each other up. Read uh, best part of the Manitoba Games. Uh, skiing. It's a, it's a good time. <laughs> Not staying in the village? Oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> I have to listen to Scott and Maddie snore all night. Yeah. Sammy, some thoughts other than the snoring? Read Beach out on that one. Uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a good experience to have. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have any other words. That's it? Zach, Maddie, how were the opening ceremonies? Uh, pretty good. Enjoy yeah. marching in and the flag yeah, and all that? Yeah, that is nice, yeah. Good. Ceremonies, Maddie, anything other than that? Uh, not much, really. I don't know anything about ceremonies. I wasn't there. Oh, that's right. I was still on the bus. Awesome. You guys are gone. Show them your hair. These guys, uh, two sport athletes right here, both just participated in the midget double A provincials, provincial champs. Hey, there's a hat right there. So, top marks to them. We'll uh, we'll pick that up. Scott, last thoughts to you. Well, these kids did work hard. And they did well for the short time we trained, and we'll see what happens in the future of uh, Thompson Ski Hill, uh, uh, Mystery Mountain and hopefully we'll turn you on. Alpine team, no, I know that uh, the Alpine folks, the provincial folks were so happy to have Thompson here and the fact that we have this facility to have the games uh, bring Alpine back is just phenomenal. So thanks for coming to Thompson, being part of our team. Thanks for all you guys. This is the Thompson team right here at the Alpine event. It's the Manitoba games powered by Manitoba Hydro. I'm gonna say hashtag, you guys weren't at the opening ceremonies, you don't know what to do, but you guys do. So when I say hashtag, you say play note. You got it? You ready? Hashtag? Play.